Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where in this video I'm going to be going through Bitcoin, Ontology and Litecoin where the moral of the story is definitely going to be keep calm and trade altcoins. <laughs> uh, you all know now for over a month I've just been so concentrating on, on trading altcoins solely and they have just been a joy to trade and they're still continuing on with the exact same movement. So uh, yeah, let's go straight into this, starting with Bitcoin here. OK, so Bitcoin, instead of uh, the keep calm and trade altcoins, Bitcoin is very much uh, keep calm and just let it play out. <laughs> OK, we're still within these sideways ranges. OK, so I've got the obviously these important trend lines for me to, you know, keep an eye on. And while we are still within these trend lines, you know, there's not much volatility at all. OK, which is obviously when Bitcoin is low on volatility, this is prime time to be trading altcoins. OK. Um, so obviously you see the top resistance that we still have way back from the 23rd of uh, 23rd of July, still extending down here, still seeing this as a resistance level. OK, so obviously we could come up to around the, you know, eyes on around, you know, 4100 sort of region, 4100. These are about region for a resistance of this top trend line. Okay, if you put it on logarithmic scale, then obviously we got a, we got the resistance trend line much higher. OK, but just looking at normal lo normal scale. Uh, we're looking at about 4,100, okay? Uh, obviously, then the higher resistance line that we have for our overall, which could be an ascending triangle, at around 4,200, okay? So those are the key resistances to be watching. Then obviously, shorter term, we do have a bit more, you know, interesting sort of supports going on here. Well, we do have like another kind of uh, ascending triangle within an ascending triangle here, okay? Where we are trying to hold this sort of level of support. OK, so we have got an upward sloping support line uh, with a strong, you know, with this resistance line that we have currently, which is at around 4,020. OK, so we obviously, you know, this supports going on within within supports, but this is all just such small ranges to be trading on Bitcoin. Um, although, yes, don't get me wrong, you can be sculpting this. Absolutely. But, um, you know, the opportunity for me really that lies in altcoins. OK, you could spend like a day trading Bitcoin and make, you know, five or six trades. But if you are, you know, within altcoins, which are getting much bit bigger and easier moves to trade. And uh, then, yes, it's really, really enjoyable. And th these sort of ranges, although fun for a sculptor, I think don't think the majority are going to enjoy trading this. Um, and even for me, I, you know, I'm a main I love sculpting, uh, but I still prefer sculpting altcoins than sculpting this Bitcoin range. OK, there's more volatility, more movement, obviously more money to be made on, on, on altcoins than Bitcoin. I mean, look at this, 0.05% from the day, um, you know, comparing this with ontology up 12% on the day. So, you know, you compare it and like, what would you rather trade? I would much rather be trading altcoins. OK, so these are the levels really to be watching. Obviously, we are within an ascending triangle here, which is within an ascending triangle sort of going on here, although this is not an ascending triangle. This is just the upward sloping trend line from these lower supports down from the 27th of February. OK, but we then have a, you know, the possibility of in, in the end forming another ascending triangle within what could be another ascending triangle on the bigger term time frame. So, with you know, flavor of the month is definitely ascending triangles, ascending triangle within another potential ascending triangle within another percent, uh, another uh, potential ascending triangle. So all this signifies is that obviously these supports are being held up. OK, this for me signifies as well that there's much liquidity to the downside. Um, so I would be on the, you know, wanting to see this wick down to take everybody out before we get a move back up. Um, so, yeah, there's obviously so much liquidity in this area, like a lot of liquidity to the downside. And obviously, as a bigger trader, you have to have this in mind. There's so much liquidity to the downside. Um but yeah, basically, it's just being calm. As, as I'm, I put this in a tweet yesterday, like, uh, I can't remember what it was. That I said, oh, yeah, keep it simple. <laughs> really, honestly, on Bitcoin, this is what you need to do. Keep it simple. Trade higher time frames. Avoid that chop. Remove all biases. Don't be saying, you know, you think it's going to go down or you think it's going to go up. Remove the biases. Just trade the charts and profit. OK, that's the simplest way to do now. Just remove that chop by zooming out. And very simply, just keep your eye on the important trend lines. OK, trade the breaks. Um, uh, today, I've just traded the break on Ontology, uh, which obviously worked out very nicely. And this was Ontology. I can remember this well because I took a loss. Um, so I, I, I took a few losses on Ontology trying to get this break. Uh, but you have to remember that each loss that I take is like one or two percent. OK, so you take a few losses in a row and I took two losses. Uh, well, one was actually break even. But on this break, I longed the break, OK, because I was still kind of bullet, you know, ontology is one of my favorite coins and I could see this that we could still be moving up. So back this was now a few days ago. 
but I took the long here. Okay, so I took a long, and then obviously we came back down, and I got stopped out at break even. So I got a, a, a break even trade here, and then the following day I tried to long this break. Okay, of, of the top of this candle, I was feeling like really aggressive, but I longed the break, and obviously that that then I took a loss. Uh, so that was a losing trade. So I had a break even trade followed by a losing trade, which then followed by break, doing this break of this high. Okay, so from this high, I then got a nice break today, and then obviously it was a nice 10% gain up to this resistance level. Okay, so then like this is what you just have to be thinking about that you can take losses in a row, and it's normal to take losses in trading. I took a obviously there was a, a break even followed by a loss followed by a win. Okay, you could have took potentially like three losses in a row um, trying to get this break on ontology. <laughs> um, but then when you get, you know, if you're if you're very good at risk management, you're keeping your losses to like 1% and then you get a win of a 10%, um, you know, it makes up for those losses. So ontology, I was so keen, uh, so keen to be getting in. Like you look at this on a, on this daily time frame, it just looks so nice. I, I You know, all know I love ontology like so much. And there's still such like little resistance, in my opinion, to the upside. Um you know, it's just looking really, really primed. Um, obviously, the resistance I really wanted to hold was if we zoom in on the four hour and I'll just show you where we got rejected. Because remember that nothing ever ends for a reason. So this is ended at this is that point for a reason. I'd like to show you why uh, you see this candle right here. That was the exact bottom, okay, where we obviously had a move down, this candle held, we move up, okay, and then you obviously do see it held very nicely as support as well. Okay, and now I'll show you where we actually ended. OK, so there where we ended to the absolute, you know, to the absolute cent ending on the exact same level. OK, obviously, this blue line is what I was hoping to, you know, well, not really hoping. I don't care if it holds or not, to be honest, anymore. Um, <laughs> I'm out of the trade. But, um, you know, I was looking to sculpt if we had held that blue line of support. But we obviously have now came straight down through it. And if you look on the one hour, uh, obviously came back through, acted as resistance. So now it's likely that we're going to, um, you know, at least form some sort of flagpole downwards. OK, after a big move, you like to see consolidation. OK, so we'd like to see some 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 consolidation here on obviously declining bear volume. Um, so, yeah, that's looking healthy at the moment. There's no red flags about this ontology move. Um, so ontology is another one that I'll be looking to play, but on a retracement. Uh, I've already got done my trade of the day of just trading a breakout. This was like so easy. I wasn't even at my computer. I just bought the breakout <laughs> and then sold at the blue line, like literally e really easy 10%. Obviously, I have risk. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, obviously, you have to be aware that there's risk of buying the breakouts. And uh, yeah, obviously, there was because I took I took a break even trade. I took a loss and then then a win. So obviously, I could have potentially took another loss here. But um you know, for me, the Elliott wave count was looking nice. You know, we had you know nice divergences. You know, there was no, although there was potential counts that you're coming up in, a, you know, in a, you know, in an ending fifth here. For me, it was unlikely, and it still looked prime for the third. So. Anyway, that was ontology. Uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd expect this to now come down in some sort of, uh, you know, bull flag um, for then another step of continuation. But I'd prefer to buy a retracement. I mean, obviously, the, the best retracement would be down to this old resistance flipping into support and getting another move up. So that would be the prime. Obviously, you have three here as well, uh, trying to line that up nicely. Obviously, you have three as well. So you could potentially see come downs to these regions for su support, resistance support flips. Um, and that's exactly how you trade Litecoin. <laughs> so looking here at Litecoin, Obviously, these are on the Binance exchanges. You cannot short here. OK, although this for me is looking like, a you know, like a rising wedge here. So this is obviously bearish. You cannot short, you know, Litecoin on Binance. So it's only longs. And you see here today, this was literally an easy 5% where this old. So this blue line that I have mapped out as resistance, where you can clearly see here on the four hour resistance, you know, firstly, the resistance where we break up. OK, we get the really big, big break and then we come down in the bull flag and then you get another move up. OK, so the first initial touch of resistance, then you see clearly where it's resistance, 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 support, support, resistance, 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 resistance. You, you see this wick right here. OK, so this wick right here, OK, was our last resistance touch. The wick right here, exact resistance touch. Where did we come down to today? You know, more or less on these exact levels for support. OK, and this is where you just get big wicks down onto the support. This was like a 5% bounce. <laughs> um, so like really easy plays if you're just ready to play support and resistance bounces. If you're comfortable, you know, just having orders placed here and you have to be comfortable doing this. Obviously, some traders are more take like taking more risks than others um so obviously if you're a conservative trader you don't trade this but um yeah for me i'm you know i have a conservative side and i have a risky sort of a trading side 
Um, and although I do see this as a rising wedge, okay, so although this is a like kind of bearish where you see this rising wedge like this, um, you know, until we break down from these lower lows, okay, sorry, from these higher lows, okay, so until these higher lows are actually broken down from and closed below, then there's no need to be like trying to short these altcoins. Um, you know, this, although this is a bearish pattern, we are still holding the higher lows, okay? So until these higher lows break and then close below, okay, and then you get something like this, then that's your short signal. But until that happens, there's no need to be trying to short these coins, in my opinion. Um, the only short that I've been taking is obviously on, uh, well, I'm not going to go through the ones I've shorted, but I have shorted a few altcoins, um, but I've been playing more long on altcoins than I have shorting. Um, off the top of my head, EOS was one that I shorted, uh, but this was on Bitfinex, so, um, you know, different exchange. Uh, I IOTA has been really nice to trade, by the way. IOTA is looking really nice. Um, so, you know, you have altcoins that are really, like, really primed. Obviously, IOTA, Zill, ZRX is looking decent, actually. Um, but you have to be, like, really key on your risk management and, like, really, you know, tight on your stop losses. Um So, yeah, there's I really, really am enjoying the altcoins. Like, really, really am. Uh and I see so much potential in the altcoins. Uh, although, yes, you want to be careful of these, you know, what's happening on Bitcoin to a certain extent, to a certain extent. And what I mean by this is, uh, you know, I'm not scared to enter an altcoin just because Bitcoin has the potential of falling down. If I had been scared of entering a position or because Bitcoin potentially falling down, I wouldn't have traded an, alt an altcoin now for like a few months. OK, so you shouldn't be thinking, oh, what about if Bitcoin falls down? You know, who cares if Bitcoin falls down? You have a stop loss at the end of the, the day on your altcoins. So, um, yeah, I'm playing altcoins really aggressively still until we get some movement here on Bitcoin, be that a move up or a move down until there's some sort of re like really big, obviously by here I'm referring to a, a, a break off the top resistance or this bottom trending support line um, until we get a proper break then i'm just going to continue trading altcoins aggressively and there's like so much profits to be had every single day trading altcoins like there's always one that's moving and it's like money that comes from one altcoin and then you put it into another altcoin okay and that's then going to pump and then once that's pumped you take it out and you put it into another okay and then you wait for the pump and then you go and you put it into another and it's circling around in these altcoins okay that's what you need to be doing like circling around okay um, so yeah, that's that's the way that I've been trading it. Sorry about that. <laughs> you probably just yeah. I'm, I'm just, apologies if my mic mic is like really loud and I just shouted okay and all your all your ears. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'm gonna go and get ready. Um, obviously, you can you tell like, I can like do all my stuff in my pajamas and then my fiance is like yeah we need to go <laughs> and like all the time I just trade all day in my pajamas just sat here like yeah chilling <laughs> but i like it it's, you always want to be comfortable in your trading and that's why you know your trading environment has to be nice and you have to be feel relaxed and i love trading in pajamas <laughs> Bagabundo. <laughs> um anyway um yeah i hope you've all enjoyed this video highlighted the you know the key reason regions to be watching on bitcoin and really it is keep calm trade alts and you know keep it simple with bitcoin okay keep your eyes on the main supports main resistances you know try it you can if you feel comfortable then this honestly is like a good range to be sculpting on bitcoin if you want to practice sculpting then without a doubt this is like a good range to be practicing on um so you can definitely like home up home, you know practice your skills if you want to become a sculptor um you know trying to sculpt these sort of ranges so that you know it's it's fun to do that on bitmex um but yeah, if you don't want to be a sculptor, then, you know, you just have to be a bit, bit patient here and wait for the setups on Bitcoin um, while trading altcoins. <laughs> because some of these altcoins, oh yeah, VeChain, I didn't even mention VeChain obviously broke out today as well. And that was another nice one. Um, so yeah, there's altcoins to be traded across the board um, without any shadow of a doubt. And it's really, really enjoyable. Um, so I'll be back uh, for another video later um, where I will cover some of these altcoins in more detail. <laughs> um, so I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Uh, everybody, thank you so much for watching. You all know, thank you so much. If you have enjoyed, please give me a like or a comment uh, and I'll be interact interacting with you down below, <laughs> down below in the comment section. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>